Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on mathematical economic series, we will discuss about the expression of a system of linear equations in matrix form. That is, how to express a system of linear equations in matrix form. Now, this matrix algebra or linear algebra helps us or permits the concise expression of system of linear equations. That is, if we are given a system of linear equations, we can convert those system of linear equations in matrix form. Let us have an example. We will see how to express a system of linear equations in matrix form. If I have the system of linear equations uh, like I have 2x1 plus 3x2 is equal to 8. And another linear equation is that is 4x1 plus 5 x2 is equal to let us say this is 12 now these are the system of linear equations now this system of linear equations can be expressed in matrix form like that is this can be expressed in matrix form like uh, this can be converted into matrix form like a x is equal to b where this a is coefficient matrix this is coefficient matrix and this x is the solution vector this is this is the solution vector and uh, this b is this b is the vector of constant terms vector of constant terms now this a is the coefficient matrix that is a is equal to this a is a matrix where we take the coefficients of the variables now in the first row we take the coefficients of x1 and x2 that is the coefficient of x1 is 2 similarly the uh, coefficient of x2 is 3 here uh, in the second equation the coefficient of x1 is 4 so i will write here 4 and similarly the coefficient of x2 is 5 so this uh, a gives us the coefficient matrix where the first row are the coefficients of the first linear equation and the second row uh, in second row we are uh, we have the coefficients of second linear equation okay now this x is solution vector solution vector means x is equal to so uh, this x gives us the value of this is x1 and x2 in the x uh, uh, in the x we take the column vector of x1 and x2 similarly b is vector of constant terms that is b is a vector of constant terms now the constant terms here is 8 and 12 so this is the vector of these constant terms that is 8 and 12 so this is the way how we can express a system of linear equations in matrix form now one thing is to be remembered here this x and b will always be column vectors these are always column vectors now if i give another example if i have another system of linear equations to make my point clear that is I have another system of linear equations let us say I have uh, 2x1 plus 3x2 plus 5x3 is equal to 18 second linear equation is uh, x1 plus 4x2 plus uh, x3 is equal to let us say 10 and third one is x1 plus 9x2 plus 7x3 is equal to 30. If these are a system of linear equations, we can uh, 
we can convert this system of linear equations in matrix form by as we have seen in the earlier example we write this in the form of a x is equal to b where a is the coefficient matrix x is the solution solution vector and this b is the vector of constant terms this is vector of constant terms so i am uh, abbreviating this actually we have to it is only for the sake of simplicity that this a a i denote by the coefficient matrix this a is the coefficient matrix, matrix and x is the solution vector and b is the vector of constant terms now the first a is equal to this a is the coefficient of uh, coefficient uh, of matrix that is coefficient of these linear equations now this first uh, row will give us the coefficient of these equations uh, these variables now the coefficient of x1 here is 2 here it is 3 here it is 5 similarly here it is 1 the coefficient of x1 is 1 here the coefficient is 4 here it is 1 similarly here it is 1 9 and here it is 7 so this is a now our solution vector here will be solution vector will be the x1 x2 and x3 and our b is b is the vector of constant terms now there uh, it is 18 10 and 30 so 18 10 and 30 here we can also see these x's and b's that is the solution vector and vector of constant terms will be always the column vector okay i hope i make myself clear thank you so for more videos on mathematical economics series please subscribe our youtube channel econ maths also like comment and share thank you